What up, guys? It's Tops, and I am back for some more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. Where we last left off, we were in the Tower of the Gods. Now, we're back at the bottom. I don't really know why I put us all the way back here. But, it doesn't really matter, because I can just hop in here right away anyway. Um, so, since the last episode, I think I completely, um, cured. I want to say cured, even though I don't really think... I guess you could say cured for this situation. I, uh, cured my computer's problem with, uh, the fan, I believe, completely. Uh, so hopefully you won't even be able to hear any fan from now on in any Let's Play video. Um, I think, you know, at first it was really loud, then I got it to a little bit less of a volume, but now I think it is actually, like, you're not gonna hear it. I can hear uh, my Wii U fan though right now because uh, the Wii U actually does have a pretty loud fan for a console. I'm not really sure why it's that loud, I guess. Because it is so small, I mean, I guess the processing for a console that small is a little bit hard. So, yeah, I guess that's why. But anyway, I think we got the first two statue people here. Yeah. I don't really know what their specific names are, so I'm just calling them statue people. And we are back to this room. Alright, so yeah, it's impossible to get these things, um, you know, over there, um, I don't even really understand what you would do if you would take them into the other, like, door, um, you know, I know I was trying to get them over here last episode, uh, but, you know, now that I think about it, what would you even do with them over here? I mean, I guess you could try and, like, place, oh, wait, this! That's what the problem was. I was trying to move this block up to here. Okay. But I believe if you push it, then nothing happens. And there's no grapple hooks. I don't think there's any boomerang things here. Uh, no, there is not. Um, and no bow and arrow things either. So, uh, let's just get out of that. I think what I might actually do here is... First, let me go get my gamepad, um, because, you know, it would be a nice thing to go get that, and of course it's far away from me, so I'm going to have to go to the other side of the room, and it's tangled in wires, so I'm going to have to untangle it from these wires, and, uh, now I actually take it. Uh, I always forget to bring my gamepad, like, right next to me, uh, when I'm in video. Sorry about all this background noise and this stuff. Uh, but now I have my gamepad out here. And I can actually view all my items right here. I'm going to try uh, using some other things. Because I thought, you know, what if you're not only limited? Like, why would you only be limited to items that you get, like, from the dungeon you're in? And just, like, you know, those things. So, maybe bombs? I don't know. Let's see what happens if we drop the bomb there. Does that... Wait, I think that almost actually worked. Let me see. Um, nope. Nope, that doesn't work. Alright. Um, I don't really think you can do anything with the telescope. Uh, yeah, that's pretty pointless for right here. And this thing, all that does, you could, you could take selfies with it. Yeah. Um, let's take a nice... I wonder what all the different poses are. Okay. So there's that. Alright, I think I'm going to just take a nice little selfie right there. So, uh... Oh, you could also... Can you do the zoom, or... No, I guess you can't. Um, but... Yeah, I'll take one, like, right there. Nice selfie. Yes, I'm going to save that pictograph. I'm making so much sound pressing these buttons. But anyway, I think... What we have left is the Deku Leaf. Um, so I'm actually going to put the bow back to R. Uh, for some reason, I always just like to put the Deku Leaf at X. So, I, I guess I you could try and, like, blow this block over there. Um, but one of the other things that I could try is um, to do a glide. Because you can also do the glide with this. I don't think that we could use the wind in here. Maybe we can actually... Oh, wait. Is this how we do it? Yeah, okay. Alright, I was not looking at the gamepad there, I swear I did that from my memory. But yeah, we can't do it inside, so... I don't know, we might be able to just hop off here. Uh, so let's try it. It looks like we might just make it. And we did! That was it. And here I was trying to do all that other crazy stuff. Um, but let's just go and command this thing now. 
So there we go, the command melody, and we can make this other little statue person hop across. What? Oh, we have to call him first, okay. At first I was like, wait, well, why is this not working? But then I realized, oh wait, we gotta do that first. So I'm just gonna move my microphone a little bit farther away from me. Uh, just so, like, the, my voice isn't, like, so amplified and terrible. Alright, so now that I threw him over there, I don't really know why I threw him over there, because I probably shouldn't have, because I don't know if the command melody will reach now. Uh, but let's just see what happens. Whoa. I let go of the wrong control stick there. Did it again. Why do I do this? Okay, there we go. Uh, so yeah, okay, we are in control of this guy now. So I think what we just gotta do is go like that. And then if we go back, we can now cross back over here, pick him up, and just bring him across here. But if we go to the next room, I believe that it resets. Yep, it does. And if we step on there, the weight of this is gonna bring these things down. So we're gonna have to be a little bit creative here. And I believe this why it gives you all four of those, whatever those other statue things are. The not people statues. And what is that thing? That is new. That was not here before. That is some weird kind of like, I don't know, bird wizard. It's, uh, what's his name? From, uh, the Fruit Loops. It's, uh, what's his name? Like, Sammy or something? I can't even remember what the Fruit Loops guy is. Uh, I think his name is like Sammy or something like that. Um... I forget exactly what it was. Oh, yeah, it's the Fruit Loops guy. He, he's a wizard, and now he does magic spells, and he's evil. Because he wants his Fruit Loops back. So, let's just put up all four of these things. Or, actually, three might be enough. Yeah, I think three will be enough, actually. Because um, I don't think that the other statue weighs, like, two links. Uh, so, let's see if this works. And it did. Okay, that's good. So now we can get back here, and we are done with this area. Well, not the whole dungeon, I don't believe. I think we still have a little bit more left of this dungeon. I don't think that's the boss. It might actually be the boss now that I... I don't know. But we'll just see what happens. There we go. That's the third and final statue that we had to bring back here. So now the path in the middle um, will work. The Illuminati. There are so many... Uh, Illuminati references in the game, and obviously I know guys, Nintendo's not like the Illuminati, they didn't plan to reference the Illuminati, but um, there's so many uh, things in this game that could be taken as Illuminati references, that's what I should say. Um, like, people could view them as Illuminati references, even though, you know, they're obviously not. I don't even think that people were talking about the Illuminati back when the original Wind Waker came out. And, wow, maybe this is leading to the boss, um... Yeah, and there is a boss in this dungeon. Oh, wait, nope, I was wrong. It's not to the boss, but I believe we are almost at the boss. Let me actually check the map. Okay, so yeah, we have third floor and then a fourth floor is where the boss is. Okay, so I was right the first time when I said we weren't right near the boss. Uh, so we do still have a little bit left. What we're supposed to do. Oh, it's one of these things again. All right. I think we just got to stay on here and then just run up there drop it really quick and then come back and just not go to the sides at all we just have to come back to the middle so it's not even as hard as the first time we encountered those weird uh, laser shooting things uh, but you know it yeah it's all you have to do is just take like a little bit of a longer way it just wastes another like four seconds maybe not even that much uh, so yeah this one wasn't too challenging and this may actually be the final key that we have to get. And it is the big key. So this leads to the boss. The room. No. The room where the boss in the dungeon lurks. That's what it leads to. And those guys try and turn evil again. I don't know why. And wait. We're still stuck in here. We're probably going to have to defeat them. Uh, so this might actually be a little bit challenging. Since those uh, laser shooting poles over there. Um, we'll try and interfere with this fight. So I think if I just... You have to hit the pink part on their back, and it's going to be a little bit challenging to do that, I know. Uh, but, oh, alright, we already got one down. It's, wow, this guy is actually, like, really getting on us. Alright. Oh, we almost made it. And if you miss, like, you're just done. Like, you don't have enough time to get out of the way then. Like, that's it for you. 
Because then I'll just come back to you and, yep, like that. If you hit in one wrong spot, pretty much you're just done for. Nope. Okay. What? Okay, that's ridiculous. How, how am I supposed to do this? It's not giving me enough time. This is very difficult. Um, it may look a little bit easy, and there might actually be an easy way to do this uh, that I just don't know of. But for me right now, this is very difficult. This is like one of the most difficult things in the game. I think the last boss was actually a lot easier than this just one enemy. Because um, that last boss was actually pretty freaking easy. In the uh, forest, the Forbidden Woods, I think it was. Not the Forbidden Forest, that's from Harry Potter. Um, why isn't this thing, like, anywhere near death? Alright, you know what? Screw this. I think I'm going to use my bow. This is what it's come to. There we go. It is almost dead, I think. There we go. It is down. It took me using my bow to kill. Uh, but, you know, that's nice. I get some bow practice there. And I don't think it's worth it trying to get a heart from those guys, because I'll probably just die. So, I don't think I'm going to do that. Hopefully, we can just heal up all the way up here, though. More of those things that shoot lasers. Alright, that's great. And I just saw a bird flying up there. It looked like the bird from the beginning of the game. That was in the Forbidden Fort. What? How do we get past that thing? Alright, first I'm gonna have to get rid of this bird. So I guess it wasn't that bird, because this bird's like really tiny. Um I guess we gotta no, that doesn't work. Uh, does this work? Does the bow work? I'm a genius. We gotta use the bow. That's what it's been this whole time. We just have to use a bow, and bam, we get more arrows back too, which is really nice. I would like a heart, though, because, whoa, this guy has a long range. Um, let's just try and get past that one. Okay, so the blue ones only shoot straight out in front of them. But the pink ones can shoot, like, anywhere um, around, like, in a circle, I think. So, yeah, I guess that tip helps a little bit. Uh, so, now we're, like, a little bit more than half health. Oh, wow, those are the pink ones. So, we're going to have to be really careful with those. In the meantime, I'm just going to take out this bird while we're waiting. Uh, all right, now, I think, is the part where I go as fast as I can. There, what? Aw, oh, if he didn't, like, be dumb and just hit the stairs like that, then we would have won. And wow, okay, we got the fairy, we got the hearts. Anything else in here? We got some bombs. I think we will actually need bombs uh, for this boss, too. So I'm going to actually switch in the bombs right there. And I don't really see what else I can use. I guess I can use... I don't think I'm going to... You know what? I'll keep that there just in case I need to use it. Because we might actually have to use the grapple hook. I don't know. It's been a while since we've used it. Um, so, you know, maybe we will actually use it. Um, that fan is actually coming entirely from my Wii U, if you hear that. So, the good thing about that, you can't hear the computer fan. The bad thing, there still is a fan. You have done well to find your way to this place. Oh, Chosen One. Accept this final challenge. Illuminati again. <laughs> The eyes of the hand, the eyes inside of the hand, so Illuminati eyes. And there's three parts to this boss, so it's just all Illuminati. Everything in this tower, it's just, it's the Tower of Illuminati. Um, it's not Tower of the Gods, it's Tower of Illuminati. So, here we go. I remember this boss being really difficult, so hopefully we won't have such a hard time with it. It's funny is that it's kind of like the boss from Super Mario 64 in the uh, desert. The I forget what the boss is called, it's one that's inside the pyramid in Super Mario 64. Uh, kind of reminds me of that boss, because that boss has two hands, except that boss does not also have a face that's flying and trying to kill you as well. Um, and it looks like we got those guys. Uh, so now we gotta get the eyes, and then I believe we have to throw bombs inside of it or something like that. Uh, it's been a long time since I fought this boss, so I don't really remember it exact. Whoa, what is it doing? Uh-oh. Okay, so we're still on the bows. And, uh-oh. We want to get out of here. Where did it go? Come on. Why am I doing so bad with this? There we go. Okay, one eye's down. And time to run. 
Somehow I dodged that, which is good. I'm not going to complain about being able to dodge something. Uh, you have to actually be really quick because he moves a lot. But this is actually really hard because he keeps moving. And just those little movements make it so you can't actually get it like right in his eye. The good thing is that his hands aren't respawning, which may happen later on in the fight. Uh, maybe like once you get down to like one life left. Oh, how? That sent me so far and then the electric from this floor has to kill me too. Okay. Uh, no. Okay, so it looks like staying under him is actually a good idea when he does that. And now it's for the bombs. Okay. So, there, I think he has three hits. I may be wrong. Um, pretty sure that he has three. We only have three arrows now, guys. That's not good. Uh, hope, does he give you more arrows? I'm pretty sure he gives you more arrows, actually, like, once you run out of them. Um, I think that's what it is. So, one more arrow left. Let's see what happens. Yep, so he gives you some more arrows. That's good. He only gives you ten, though, so now he can only use ten at a time, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult because we're going to have to keep coming back to get more arrows. Um, so, yeah, it's just next step of this boss, I guess. Um, so, you know, missing a lot is probably not the best thing to do. And he's going to do this again. Great. I love this attack. But, uh, it's not the end of the world. I mean, like, I guess it's not. Wow, already we already used another 10 arrows. Okay. Um, oh, and his hands come back now. That's great. Yeah, this actually gets a little bit difficult now, uh, because with his hands back, and he does this attack too while his hands are back, it's just a lot more uh, hard. You know, because it wasn't enough before. Um, but there we go. Oh, that's good. Okay. You want to throw it now? And I think we just have one more hit. I don't know. I forget how many hits this boss has. Um... We used all our arrows, so he's probably going to give us more right now. I guess the reason why I didn't do it before was because we had just knocked him down to the ground, so it would have been weird if he gave us arrows while he was already knocked down and we just had to throw a bomb at him. Uh, so yeah, the hands are now harder. They do uh, like more difficult attacks to dodge, and they start working together to try and stop you. Um, so yeah, and they move around so much that it's hard to shoot them. Um, so yeah, it's just more difficult in every way, really. Um, hopefully I'm not giving anyone, like, motion sickness right now by spinning around so much, but I can't really avoid it since I have to move around to shoot these hands and to shoot the guy. Oh, wait, is it when you, it might be when he gives you arrows that the hands come back. Um, I just thought of that, um, right now. Okay, so where is he? I'm just going for him right now. I don't care about the hands. I already got him down once. Once is enough. Um, and he's going to do it again. Right. I probably shouldn't have came right to the corner like that, but... It's okay, we're still surviving, um, even though we have, like, a little bit more than half health, which is good. Um, you know, we don't have a ton of health, but we do have some, so it's good. It's good, we're still in this fight. And we already are out of arrows. Why can't he just give you 30? That would make it so much easier, actually. Um, it's kind of ridiculous that he doesn't give you 30. Uh, so, oh, I was just about to get the final hit. That would make him fall down so we could throw the bomb in his mouth. Um... I think he only has one more hit left. <gasps> yes, this is it. Uh, I think this is it for the boss, actually. Uh, let's see. There it is. The path can now be opened. I'm actually surprised that this boss gave me... Oh, chosen one. Guess he's not done yet. Um, what will now come to pass is tied to your fate. The path that you have chosen, go forward with caution. Okay. I don't know why this boss gave me such trouble. I remember the first time I played this game, I had to face off against this boss like five or six times before I won. Um, it was just so challenging to me, but here, I, we won the fight with more than half health remaining on the first try. Uh, so, yeah, it wasn't too bad. I think I was just really bad with the bow before, um, and now I've gotten better with it. So here we go. We got a heart container. Your life energy has increased by one. Plus, your life gauge has been replenished. Alright, so now we have six lives. That's good. I want to start collecting more heart pieces, actually, because we're going to start needing more. I'm not going to do 100% with this game, but I think collecting some more heart pieces would be good um, to do. So, here we are. Um, 
on the top of the tower wow i just realized i'm like wait where are we but we're actually like on the roof of the tower right now so the only way to get there is to defeat that boss um and where do we go from here i i don't see any ladders i i guess we could try well, we can't really do anything other than just get up on here i guess we could look in the telescope maybe um Where's the telescope? I'm wondering if we're supposed to, like, look out at something in the sky. And then that'll maybe trigger the next event. Maybe the... Oh! Oh, whoa, that thing. That is a grapple hook uh, spot. I did not... I can't even think to, like, imagine, like, how someone would discover that, like, without using a telescope like that. Uh, but... There we go. So that's the... What we're doing right now is ringing the bell, so I'm not really sure what this is going to do. Um, let's see what happens. And someone is underwater and they're peeing like crazy. Alright. You have done well, Tops. It would seem the gods have acknowledged you to be a true hero. But this does not mean your trials have ended here. Once you take your first step into the world beyond the Ring of Light, you see shimmering in the waves before you. Your true trial will begin. Are you ready, Tops? I'm ready! Alright, let's go. Um, into this place. I am not really sure how we're doing with the time, um, so I might just wait, uh, after this cutscene, I might just wait to include the next, uh, you know, the rest of this in the next episode, uh, so we'll see how it goes. It looks like we're, this is actually, like, underwater, and somehow we're able to breathe now, I think. Maybe not still. Yep, he opened his mouth, that means we can breathe now. So somehow underwater, deep under the water, we could just breathe and makes no sense at all. Uh, we just grew a pair of gills like that. Uh, so, yeah. And there is the Triforce. And Hyrule Castle. I believe this is supposed to be, um, like a reference to Ocarina of Time. Like, this is the castle from there. Oh, uh, that's buried under here. I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to be. Um, because this game takes place after that, and all their references to, like, the, you know, like, the past hero and everything is referring to the Link from that game. Uh, so I think this is actually supposed to be the Hyrule Castle from Ocarina of Time. I may be wrong, though. You are probably wondering where we are, aren't you? Unfortunately, there is not enough time for me to explain it to you now. Once you are able to strike down Ganon with the item you obtain in this castle, all will be made clear to you. Trust in my words. See what awaits you in the castle. Alright guys, so we are going to continue this in the uh, next episode. I, I hope that we're at like a good enough uh, time where I can just like end this off. Hopefully it's not too early. Um, but if it is, sorry about that guys. Um... I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, why don't you subscribe so you will be notified when the next one is uploaded. And that's pretty much it. This is Tops, and I'm out.